Left-wing groups decided to take the gloves off, and I absolutely love it. A progressive PAC is targeting a Democratic congressional candidate for not campaigning on Medicare for all. The Progressive Change Campaign Committee, the PCCC, launched digital ads targeting David Min, Dave Min, who is running against Katie Porter, an Elizabeth Warren back candidate for the Democratic nomination in California's 45th district. The digital ads, which will appear on Facebook, Twitter, and Google ahead of next week's primary, call Min a bad dem for opposing Medicare for all, an assertion his campaign pushed back against on Thursday. Quote, Min has repeatedly been pressed by California voters on whether he supports Medicare for all and has consistently sided with big insurers by refusing to embrace it. The PCCC said in a statement, not just that, his campaign actively attacked Medicare for all with false right-wing talking points, showing he will not be a strong progressive ally. Okay, let me just say, I fucking adore this strategy, because one of the underrated tactics that has been used on the right is um, pressure put by the base on the politicians. So that's why there was that Tea Party wave. That's why there was that anti-establishment wave on the right. Now, ultimately, by the way, they turned out to do the bidding of the establishment because uh, the corporate leanings of the right always end up merging with the status quo. So they always end up serving power in the long run. But originally, people thought it was an anti-establishment movement. So when you put pressure from the right-wing base on the establishment politicians, they buckle. The same thing happens on the left. I mean, granted, we have a, a, an uphill battle because... What the progressive base wants does not end up merging with the status quo. It's directly opposed to the status quo. But at the same time, that pressure is the only thing that can make these politicians uh, move away from what their donors are calling for them to do. Because if if they serve their donors, but they know, hey, I'm going to lose my job if I do that, well, then, that, then they'll, they actually will flip their votes, and they'll do it because they're scared. I don't care why they do it. I just need them to vote the right way. So... To run ad campaigns, basically calling out Democrats for not being for Medicare for all is goddamn brilliant. Because another thing that that does is it flips the narrative. Because what happens uh, with Democratic strategists oftentimes is they're of the belief that uh, it's a bad idea for Democrats to run on left-wing policies. They genuinely believe, like, no, you should be more moderate or maybe right-leaning and you should try to get the crossover voters by half agreeing with Republicans. They actually believe this shit. So by the PCCC running these ads, what it does is it forces their hand where they're basically cornered into flipping and realizing that, oh, actually, no, don't run to the right. That's, they're actually attacking us for that. Now you got to go left. So it's a brilliant move. It, it's, um, it seems like there's a shift happening. There's a shift happening in the consensus, uh, even among the Democratic political class, where even they're starting to realize, like, oh, this is untenable. The way we've been doing it, like, they're too dumb to actually just crunch the numbers and realize they've gotten their ass handed to them by trying that neoliberal corporatist new Democrat strategy. But now they're being forced to change. Because if you're attacking them this strongly from the left, only good things will come. So go nuts. Attack them for not being for Medicare for All. Attack them for not being for free college. Attack them for not wanting to end the wars. And let's make the duh position, not only on the left, but in the country in general, the left-wing position. Make that the default position, where if somebody deviates from that, you attack them viciously. Because that's what you need among elected officials. They need to fall in line and do the bidding of the people, not the other way around.